Do you want to support me while also getting some cool WWE swag? Well, now you can, because I am an affiliate of WWEshop.com. Just head to the link in the description of this video, click that little bad boy, and it will bring up WWE Shop. Purchase as normal, whether it's shirts, whether it's championship titles, whether it's memorabilia, anything you want on WWE Shop, as long as you use my link. Because doing so will give me a commission off your purchase. Therefore, you can support me and rep the WWE's latest swag all throughout their shop. So just head to the link in the description of this video, purchase as normal, and you're also supporting me. Mm, who's going to talk first? Guess oh, me. Did it go? <laughs> it went, but it's uh, fine. I didn't see it. I was distracted. Hey. It's a little bit weird for us. Usually raise the raise the mastermind behind recording everything for a little behind the scenes. I just show up usually, but we're trying something else because, listen, last week, you may have not have seen it too much, but you may have noticed there was a little bit of a delay on some things because Ray's internet was having a shit all over us last week. It really was. It was literally mm. the worst thing to happen to humanity. Mm. Not really. Sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Yeah, it was. <laughs> How's your... But not this way. It's like it's, it's fingers crossed. Yeah. It's all fine at the moment. It's pretty good at the moment. Um. How's your weekend been? Merry Christmas. How was your Christmas? Mm. Christmas was... <sighs> I don't mean to sound like it's such first world problems. We get fed all day and we get to spend time with our loved ones, but it's it's freaking draining, dude. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. We um we had Christmas Eve as well here with some of my girlfriend's family because um, they were leaving, flying out on Christmas morning, so... We did Christmas Eve into Christmas morning into Christmas lunch. Mm. By the end mm. of it, it was Mm-mm. pack her up time. She was a lot. Uh, that sounds like I. Uh, we just did so we do a big breakfast and a big lunch, and then it's it's your own devices for dinner. Like um, my mum usually goes and sees like my stepdad's family, like in Adelaide somewhere, like, I don't know, Mawson Lakes or something, they're rich as hell. Yeah. Um, so they get to go up there for dinner and then it's just, yeah, whatever you want to do. But, um, yeah, so we have a big breakfast. So we have to be, we had to be at my mum's at 7 a.m. because my mum is on a schedule. My mum's like, hey, <laughs> this is, this is when you're doing. So, um, I have quite a, a small family, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, it was just me, my siblings and my mum and my stepdad. And, um, yeah, big, big breakfast, big lunch. You feel like you can't eat anymore by the time. Mm-hmm. One o'clock hits, you're like, what the hell? And then it's dessert. And then, yeah, I come home on a Christmas day about two or three o'clock and I had napped and then had paddle over for tea. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, that's the dream. My, yeah, my Christmas is, was a time. So my, I've got, I come from obviously a broken home. So I got mum's side and dad's side. Plus now I got, my girlfriend's side as well, which we did on um, Christmas Eve. But we did my mum's side of the family this year, did the first annual Christmas quiz and it was the most extra thing ever. And I kind of enjoyed it too much. And I got a little bit Josh competitive and I came came second, which was, which was all right. But, I didn't think I was going to get a question wrong, uh, like question right, sorry. Because it was like, um, so it was way over the top. My mum had set it up. It was like, we all had to go onto Zoom if we weren't at the lunch thing, which I wasn't because I was at my dad's thing for lunch. Um, and then she's also got family that's like, some live in New Zealand, some live in Queensland, some live everywhere sort of thing. So it's like everyone jump on Zoom and then she f- shared her screen and a QR code came up. So you scan that with your phone and then oh on her screen came all the questions and then your phone was like your answer pad and it was like fastest got more points. So the more questions you got right like and the quicker, but it was like mm. stuff like who's in this photo or... What year was this photo? 
like, and it was all just family photos from over the years. And right. It was, yeah. It was, it was a bit of fun. It was a lot. Like it was, <laughs> mum put so much time and effort into it for the winner to get a $50 Bunnings voucher. But, <laughs> um, well, I mean, it's $50 Bunnings voucher. You could do some damage with that if you wanted to. Correct. So I was like the first. Did you win? No, I came second. I got uh, sec- second place is the first loser. Well, I had like twenty two thousand something points. Oh was my god! <laughs> Thirty eight questions. Um, Jesus, and they're all family related questions. Yeah, we have quite a big family. Mum's one of seven. All right, got you. And everyone's got at least two kids. So, and then a lot of them are sort of my age. So then now there's great grandkids as well. So. Mm-hmm. There was lots of that sort of stuff. Lots of stabbing in the dark questions for me. But I was like, I was good at like a process of elimination. Like I could work out by like one person that I knew was roughly around. Like if it was a year of question, I could roughly work out how old someone was in that photo and then sort of take a stab. But All right. Well, yeah. that's more of the Ray way. But yeah, I um, Ooh, that's I a lost, good episode title. <laughs> I uh, I only lost by about eighty points over like twenty two thousand, so it's pretty close. I nice mean, yeah, spewing. okay. I would have been pissed. <laughs> we had a um, we had a uh, a sibling game of table tennis. Yeah. Um, didn't go great. Well, you I am um, it's siblings. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> well, then. I'll uh, I'll put your mind at ease that a sibling game of table tennis wasn't. I left a bit early from lunch because all the fireworks of lunch kicked off after I left. Ah, oh, families. <laughs> yeah. So it started off. I like I sent my brother a message, um, because my other stepbrother who was there as well started posting on social media about. Let me make my own decisions. Rah, rah. And I was like, oh, shit, what happened there? Here we go. And uh, I was like, um, oh, I sent my brother a message. I was like, oh, what's happened? And I didn't get a reply for ages. And then he sent me back a message that was like a whole nother drama that kicked off after that drama. Cause, oh, so it was like my stepmom's side of the family. So her sister rang and was like, said something, and then something kicked off, and then my stepmoms ended up trying to punch her dad and, like, smash his car window in, broke her fist. It was, oh, like, all a thing, and then everyone started, like, brawling, and then I missed it all because I came home to do the quiz. Fucking hell. Holy shit. Well, it doesn't – we had family drama. I won't get into it, um, but – you know, that, that all was subsided and, and fixed by like 10 a.m. <laughs> um, so, but you know, it's families. What do they say? You can't choose your family. Isn't that right? No, you literally cannot uh, at all. Um, it's not Christmas without a little bit of family, family drama though, is it? Like, it's no, just very, all. it's just, it's just the, the norm. And um, I don't know. Yeah, but Christmas is very draining. It's just that it's even today, like we're two days removed from Christmas at time of recording and like, I'm still gassed. I'm still, mm. I, and, and you're like in that zone between Christmas and New Year's where you're like, what day is it? What time is it? I don't know what's happening. We mm. have a three day week at, well, I know you're off of work, but like it's a three day week. Um, of work, it, it's just, it's very odd. Yeah. Um, it's a very odd feeling. Um, are you, are, are you much of a, you, you'd have your children for New I Year's, do. wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. no, they, well, Rory goes back to his mum's on, uh, New Year's Eve, so. Okay. I'm not going to do anything though. I'll need it to recover well, after. Yeah, I was going to say. This, like today we were, went to two different parks, we played tennis, we went in the pool, we... Did a lot of things. We went looking for tadpoles. Hang on one sec. Mm. You're good. <laughs> Ray's parenting. Look at Ray go. He's parenting, guys. <laughs> this, is, this is the best time of my life. 
We had a full parenting of before. So Hell yeah, yeah, it's a lot. I it's I you know me. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I am childless. <laughs> um, it's so funny just watching. I just seen you go into like full dad mode. You're like, Oi! <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like... It wasn't so calm about forty minutes ago. <laughs> mm. Little insight, guys. More behind the scenes scoops. Ray gave me a message about I don't know, probably about forty five minutes ago ish, <laughs> about an hour ago. I don't know, something like that. And he just said, "Hey." Maybe a little late. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> then Ray kind of informed me of why said late might happen. I mean, Ray still wasn't late, by the way, guys, no. which is nice. Yeah. I'm very rarely not late. But at the moment, yeah, you know, I've got a, a sulking four-year-old down on the floor. Mm, it's fine, though. I, gave mm. him, I got him to get his pillow. Oh, well, <laughs> might fall asleep. Maybe he'll just fall asleep. I don't know. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to think what else happened. Oh, big, big, big weekend for me. I um rented the Eras tour. Oh no, we we're going to talk about that. Yeah, we're okay. going to talk about that a lot, Mister yeah. Ray. Now well, you you sent a me a yeah. Well, you <laughs> sent me a message on I believe it was I want to say it was Saturday of uh, this past weekend. And you said, oh, it's, it's happening. Like, it's, it's time. Because we had talked about it. I knew you were going to watch it. We've exchanged some memes on the internet of said thing. And I was like, Ray's going to fucking, you know, flick his bean over freaking Taylor <laughs> Swift's 1980. What is it? No, Eras, Eras. Tour, whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. it's called. Whatever. Um, <laughs> and then you got, I got that message. And then you sent me another video that was like, we're up to the 1989 section. I was like, all right, cool. I can get on that bandwagon. Now... Mm. Something else was messaged to me yeah. by my best friend, yep. um, your 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 lovely girlfriend, but my be- more importantly, my <laughs> best friend. Yeah. Um, to maybe say of how many times you've actually watched the eras, uh, the eras concert. What the fuck do you call it? Movie tour. concert tour. Tour. I, I don't know. Movie, movie concert movie. I don't know. Concert what it was. movie. I I don't know what it was, but so this was the at that point it was the third time through mm. um now that thing's about three hours long is it not yeah yeah it is and you watched it three times in its entirety uh not in its entirety i okay. think the third right. time i didn't watch it in its full entirety i got up to oh you the, thought that was overkill okay i got up no to worries. the acoustic set and then yes oh you tapped out all yeah. right yeah no which worries. was like two hours and 30 minutes in but <laughs> so what the f- why not just you should have just you know hung in there you know no, because it but was yes, quite I, a disappointing got... end. Oh, oh. Whoa. You're yeah. speaking ill of Taylor Swift? What's going no, on here? but, like, it wasn't ill of Taylor Swift because the actual, like, concert itself was, like, a spectacle. It was incredible. Like, the stage and everything like that was outstanding. It was mm. just um, she finished on the wrong song. You got to finish like with an absolute grade A banger, and but doesn't she do that? From my understanding, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't she do it? Isn't the whole idea of the eras to do it in? No, it's not the eras of each... order. Oh, I thought it was. Well, they what the fuck do I know? They go through each era, but it's like folklore comes before 1989. It's all like messed up a little bit. Right, okay. So what did she end with? Uh, her, like, newer stuff. I can't even think of what the song is that she ended on. But it was, like, basically one of the last songs that she released. But it, oh. And I was like, oh, is that where we're finishing? What's her latest album? Is that Midnight's? Uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't like that one. I don't mind it. There's some good songs I, on yeah. it. But that's what she um, finished with, which I kind of get. But right. it's just, it didn't. <laughs> Like, uh, finish on 1989 and hit us all with Shake It Off on the way out or something, you know? I don't know if that's a concert ender, my guy. Well, that's what ended the concert when I seen her. <laughs> when did you see her? Oh, a while ago. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you know, this is the tr- sign of a true friend. I entered a competition the other day that was going to win tickets to Taylor Swift. And I was like, if I even get this, I'm going to give these to Ray because I have no business going to Taylor Swift. No business being there. Um, <laughs> no, well. 
It's not really. <laughs> yeah, it was. I just thought she could have ended better. That's all. Like on an upbeat, absolute belter. There was. Is Shake It Off considered a belter? Because well, it's probably overplayed. So try something else. Like she's got so many. We are never getting back know. together. I don't know. We. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah. Exactly. There's lots of songs. I act like I don't know all the music, <laughs> but I know most of it. Um, I, I don't know. I have nothing to add. I've not watched. Oh, God. I see you in like a week and a bit. Are you going to freaking make me watch that thing? No. It was like $25 to rent it for two days. Oh, my God. You yeah. spent money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. But anyway, yeah, I got um, a message from my best friend. On, uh, I think it was Sunday, she must have messaged me. And she was like, don't tell Ray, but this is the third time we're um, watching this. So make sure to bring it up on Wednesday night. But <laughs> you were just right out there. You were like, I watched it three times. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a problem saying that. I did just, All right, well, speaking of your best okay. friend, I did just have to send her a quick apology message for snapping as, a, a, as I walked in. So another oh, yeah, apology nice. on the way out. So. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shall I just, press go on just, this question? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, the concept I about of the it. podcast. Yeah. yeah, so did I. It's fine. One hundred. The concept of the show. Is... I had a drink of water. If you could keep only one part of your morning routine, what would it be? Um, uh, uh, you know what? This is going to sound really disgusting, but I don't care. The first thing I do when I wake up is take a shit, and I love it. <laughs> It's like my favorite thing. It's just like, uh, really, just gets you ready for the day. I've always found it really odd how people can poo on cue. I'm not saying I get up and it's just like, oh, I better go to the toilet. Like, usually I just need to go. Yeah, but I don't even, like, mine's not set like that. Mine's just to feel it and do it. I just. But isn't there such thing as like a body clock with that kind of stuff? It's like. Not Your body me. knows. Not for Because me. this is now going to be a weird health chat, but are you meant to poo once or twice a day or more than that? I don't know. I would have thought it was once or twice. Okay. Because I, I, poop, I poop usually twice a day, but yeah. I feel like I... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't poop throughout the night. So like I wake up and it's like just, it just, it's ready to go. Plus, I'm lactose intolerant and I usually eat cheese. Plus, I have IBS. So that's nice. Yeah, I am. Um... My stomach is an absolute fucking mess all the time. Oh, yeah, mine too. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the story about when uh, I thought I was getting gastro? Which time? The one where I one of... buffed like six gastro yep. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you said it on this show. Oh, it was yeah. like, oh. Yeah, right. Um, I haven't looked at those gastro stops. Medicines the same since. Uh, no, definitely. Medicines? Not. Medications. That's, yeah. I don't know if that's the right word. Whatever. Um so I yeah, I I don't know. Maybe I'm just not that regular. I don't know, maybe need to get a gut health check. Um Maybe. But the one thing of my routine that I'm uh keeping is my morning coffee with my darling, darling girlfriend. Just to My best know, friend. Yeah. With your best friend. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes just to sit there and have a coffee and read the news. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not sitting together. Usually she's doing stuff, oh. like important stuff. <laughs> One end day. of the house and the other end of the house. <laughs> no, no, no. We're like in the same room, but she's like busy doing stuff and I'm just a lazy sack. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's my... The, my my one that I'm keeping. Sit there and read the news, oh. having a coffee. It, it must be nice um, just being able to live with my best friend like that. <laughs> it is. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, when is this joke going to get old? I don't know if it will. Oh, wow. I don't know if it will. She's going to be so offended that it's a joke. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean in the sense of me just like saying it over and over again. Yeah. Listen, she's my best friend. <laughs> There's no question about that. I think it's because um, I think it's just, I don't know. There's some vibe I get from her that I'm like, I can talk shit with you. Yeah. And this is fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so it's almost New Year's. It is. I've been 
trying to pencil down a few. Actually, one thing I want to get to before I get into New Year's chat, mm. when it pertains to Christmas. Mm. The difference between a good Christmas day and a bad Christmas day is who you sat next to at family lunch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Big time. It can ruin it or make it if mm-hmm. you do not get sat next to the right people. Oh, one, 100%. You know, that also like kind of goes with um, staff Christmas shows. Mm-hmm. If you're on a, we were on for our staff quiz, quiz, quiz modes, Christmas show this year, we we're on like a long table, like a really long one. Yeah. And we all kind of like, you know, got sat and I was like, oh my God, this is make or break. I'm either going to have an awesome night or I'm going to have a terrible one. The same at Christmas. I got seated with my sister. It was fine. We're vibing. Yeah. Good time. Yes. It's either also not only who you sit next to, but the shape of the table. Mm. Mm. You don't want a big circle table or anything like that. No, thanks. Yeah. So I, I was sort of, I'm early to everything except for family things, which I like to be late to. That's fair. But I always get stitched up. So we were early. So I took a punt on where to sit and I was like, my brother will be here soon. He'll sit next to me. He was running late. My, like miles late, 40 minutes late. Um, and I got sat next to my stepmom's dad who the whole day kept giving me 20 minute updates on what the weather was and what it felt like. Oh, oh no. I was like, <sighs> This is a lot. Mm, so yeah, that sounds not not great. And not then great. on the other side, your bestie got sat next to uh, my stepsister's kid, who is like twenty, but she likes to sing along to everything at the top of her lungs. And I was Ooh. like, Ooh. so so we really um, got put into an I mean, odd it spot. Could, it could be worse. Not yours, because that's always awkward. Mm. But, like, a singing 20-year-old is probably better than an 8-year-old, if anything, in my opinion. <laughs> I guess you're right, <laughs> yeah. Um, the, I was laughing. I um, I like to make little digs at people without them knowing that the digs are. I also mm. took... Cre- that doesn't sound like you at all, Ray. I also took creative liberties with the cracker jokes. I, uh... <laughs> Everyone was reading their Those cracker jokes. jokes and I was like, oh, I said to, cause we were at my stepsisters. I was like, where did you get these crackers from? She's like, Aldi, why? I'm like, these jokes are foul. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, mine is disgusting. She goes, what do you mean? What does it say? And I said, what's the difference between a woman and a washing machine? And she's like, huh? And I was like, when you dump a load into a washing machine, it doesn't follow you around complaining for nine months. And she's like, it doesn't say that. <laughs> like, I was shocked as well. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> right. <laughs> we, are, we are a classy, 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 classy show. And you've just taken it. Oh, I was talking about bowel movements before. All right. We need to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, and then I was making little stuff, like when people would say stuff, like <laughs> my stepmom's mum handed my stepmom her phone and said, oh, have a look at this picture of your sister. She looks looks so much like you now. She's put on so much weight. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whack. Cut that mm, one. Yikes. So, um. I, the thing that I hate, (laughs) the thing that I hate most about Christmas is because you see, like, so, like I said, um, my stepdad has more family in Adelaide, but some of them live where I do. So they like come to my, my mum's house for lunch and, um, you know, you see them three, four times a year, if that, like, Mm. I don't really have a lot to do with my stepdad's family. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. It's just never really been a thing anyway. So, um, 
I love the comments of just, cause I'm the only single sibling. <laughs> yeah. So of course everyone's chatting and then you'll just get the odd little, the odd little side comment from that side of the family. They're just like, Oh, you here on your own again? <laughs> like, yes. Yes, Margaret. I yeah. am. Thank you for that. Yeah, I am. Yeah. And then it's, Oh, well, one said to me, they were like, um, Oh, so you're on, and I'm like, yeah, 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 it's fine. And she goes, oh, well, I would hate to be in your shoes. That would be very sad. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Uh, um, so, yes, New Year's is fast approaching. Mm-hmm. Um, have you been thinking about any goals no. or a little? Not even once. I've got one. I could only think of okay. one. Okay. Which just, I think it ages me more than anything. So great. I'm going to try to read six books for the year. I didn't know you knew how to read. <laughs> Ew, got him. Boom. <laughs> gotcha with that one, didn't I? Wrecked. Fuck you. Um, uh, <laughs> wrecked. wrecked. Um, I did fucking get you then though. Um, okay, cool. Are they going to be like picture books or? No, no, no. Actual. I'm going oh. to try a different genre every um, every time. So you're going to do like sci-fi and porn and whatever? No, I mean like I'm starting oh, okay. with autobiography and then okay, I'm going to move to like maybe some like, uh, I don't know, self-help, probably need it. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it might be helpful. Something like that, you know, a different mm. one each time. One yeah, of, nice. Something like a wrinkle in time or something like that. You know, a classic. I'm going to, I'm going to pretend like I know what that is. <laughs> I got the uh, Ned Brockman autobiography oh, yeah. for Christmas. So I'll start with that one. Okay. And then move on to good. the next genre. So yeah, try Sick. at least try to get away from a screen for 20 minutes a day or something. Well, <laughs> speaking of screens, I think the only goal that I really have is probably just uh Pump up the content a little bit. My yeah, content game dropped that. off in a, this year a lot. Um, and I used to be quite the machine, pump out a lot of stuff. And um, just with going back and studying and stuff like that, I think now is the year where I have a little bit of time um, where I kind of have a bit of a schedule with how I run my weeks. I kind of can know when I can kind of do certain things. So kind of just going to try and pump out more of that shit because yeah. I'm very – recharge with that stuff lately. And I'm just like, yeah, let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? So I try and do that. Um, yeah, I am. That's listening. really my only goal. I, I can tell. I c- you've got a parent. It's fine. I can feel dead air. We can talk about anything. I can sing a song if you want me to. What song can I sing? Um, uh, I can't think of any song ever. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. It would be nice if I could think of a song right now, but I can't think of any song <laughs> that's ever existed. It's I fine. Um, I feel I'm feeling dead air. It's fine. It's gonna be the Josh episode. Yeah, it's I know. Fine by me. Um. Yeah. Turns out he's regretting his own decision, um, but he's too stubborn to say that he is. Um. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yes, I'm right there with him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so I guess that's the only one I've got. I want to boost mm. my my content as well. Fine. Also, I probably I probably um want to get to the gym a little bit more than I normally do. Uh, I'm not good with that. I need to lose it. I need to lose a little bit of weight. So do Put I. A lot of weight in the last like, six months, and I'm like, mm, all right, we need to calm down. So have I, but that's someone else's problem. Not mine. True. Um. Yeah, I've... but it's all right. You got the guns out today, anyway, Ray. We we're getting the gun show today. What's oh, I what's just this? got out of the pool? Ah, uh, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So, pool. I've been out in the sun all day. So, just chuck on. A... Do you burn easy? I burn like crazy. I used to, but now I'm like a stickler for sunscreen. Yeah, I wear sunscreen too, but I still always get burnt and never get tan. I'm just always a white ghost. Oh, no. See, like, I'll burn once and then my arms go quite nicely tan, but the top of my arms don't see much sun. So Mm, Relatable. Yeah. It's because I sit inside like (laughs) a bat in the corner of my house, like, get away from me. Yeah. I've, okay, (laughs) 
you're gonna call me an idiot for this and that's fine mm. i didn't know bats were like in australia <laughs> what did you think they were i didn't know they were in this country you've never I been to the like, zoo and seen like millions of them out the front yeah but in captivity is no, 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 if, out no, the front of the zoo no yeah there's like fruit bats. I've, or, I've been to the zoo, but I haven't been to that. My sister and that, we went Christmas light looking at Adelaide the Oval. Weekend. There's bats there? Yeah. Lots of them. Maybe I thought they weren't bats. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But my, we were driving around looking at Christmas lights on Saturday night. My sister was like, um, I, we're talking about like one of the part, like the playgrounds here. I don't know how it came up. It came up in conversation somehow. And I was like, oh, we should go, just go down the slide, you know, be a fucking idiot on a Saturday night. She's like, why would you want to go to the park on a Saturday night? There's all bats all through there. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) She's like, there's bats. I'm like, bats aren't in this country. And she's like, what are you talking about? (laughs) She's like, of course there's bats in this country. I'm like, no, there isn't. And yeah, then I went on a little Google and um, turns out there is. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Didn't know that. definitely is. Yeah. Yep. How good? Yeah. <laughs> They're mm. definitely everywhere. Everyone's going to call me a fucking idiot. That's <laughs> fine. I stand by it. I didn't know there was bats in this country. There's fruit bats? Whatever. You know. What? The fruit bats. <laughs> what yeah. does that mean? That's the type of bat. It's a fruit bat. Do they like eat fruit? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> They're different to the, the ones in Wuhan wet markets or anything like that, but they... Um, Ray, you are saying words that I don't know what they mean. You don't get my Wuhan wet market reference? What is that from? Wuhan. A wet market in Wuhan is apparently where a guy ate a bat and COVID started. Oh, right. Okay. Like in China. Yes. Okay. Understood. Reference. God. Yeah. <laughs> there you mm-hmm. go. Wuhan, China. Just <laughs> yeah. takes me a minute, all right? Everyone shut up. <laughs> no, I, I actually quite enjoy the jokes. You have to explain. They sort of hit the hardest, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's <laughs> nothing better than explaining a nice joke, is there? Yeah. Um, whatever. <laughs> so what else I'm do you think's real? Uh, let's not get into that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but it is New Year's. Um, are you... So you're recharging. I'm not really doing a lot. Mm. I'm going to watch the, I can see where the fireworks are. Like they get let off on the beach here and I can see them from the front of my house. So I don't even have to step out of my yard to, the to see the fireworks. Yeah. Yep. Um, we'll probably, me and my friend um, from work, we'll just hang out. We're going to fucking have a few drinks and then um, watch the 930 fireworks and hopefully be asleep by 10. <laughs> We were thinking about going to the cricket because... Uh, oh, my mum's doing that because sometimes I go to my mum. She's like, nah, we're going to the cricket. I'm like, well, cheers for the invite. I don't like cricket, but... Um, yeah, I love cricket. Still, you know, could have got pissed. Fine. Yeah, Grinspoon are playing after as well. Oh, Grinspoon. Let's yeah, go. Just ace. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, what'd you get for Christmas? I got some money. Mum gave me some money for Perth. Thank fucking Christ. Yep. Um, she was like, I probably, you could probably do with that, do with that right now. I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause don't really have that organized. Mm-mm. Um, that, um, she got me, my mum always gets us like, she goes like ham and gets us like heaps of stuff, but it's like towels and creams, you know, stuff like that. Just like little things that like, I don't have to worry about buying until mum gives it to me next Christmas. Yeah, that right. kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, some money. And then um, she got a s- fucking legend. A couple of Woolies gift cards so I can go grocery shopping for a few weeks. I'm like, fucking thank God for you. <laughs> She's like, well, instead of just giving you gift cards to like, you know, like somewhere we can get like, you know, entertaining things, but not useful things. She's like, here's a hundred bucks in Woolies gift cards. Go fill up your car with petrol. Go, yeah. go get some groceries. I'm like, that can, you legend. Like yeah. that saves me so much money. Um, but yeah, little stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, she got me a cool footy. Uh, cause you know, yeah, got me some crows gear, um, some Raptors stuff. I was a happy boy. Yeah. Nice one. Mm. I am. Um... I got golf lessons <laughs> uh, mm. for me and your best friend. Ah, uh, uh, yes. 
Yeah. So she's going to become a golfer now. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. That'll be interesting. You should dress like, do you, Kath and Kim reference here, guys, but do you remember when Kim and Sharon become golfers and then Kath thinks they're lesbians? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, oh, well, look it up. It's quite the look. So, yeah, um, got golf lessons. Got a, hmm. uh, I got this uh, Tennessee Titans shirt. Which I love. It's a long sleeve shirt, and I quite often like a long sleeve shirt. But I was um, cleaning the pool a couple of months ago, and I was pouring chlorine into it and splashed it with chlorine. So, it, like, I don't know if you've ever seen a shirt get splashed with chlorine. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I ruined it. So your bestie bought me a new Titans long sleeve shirt, which is cool. And yeah, uh, nice. If you see, that's see why that she's I'm... my best friend. She just gets people. <laughs> if you can see that I'm lit up a bit better. <laughs> Did you get a new ring light? Yeah, it's not quite ring, but it is a light. Just right. There. I um, can tell. I did yeah, notice when um, you first like vouchers, got into stuff. You... Vouchers mm. and a book and mm. uh, a tennis racket to go with Rory's Ooh. tennis racket. We went and played tennis today. Yeah. Oh, so you're a golfer and you're a tennis star. I haven't played tennis for a long time, but me either. It's been a long time. Yeah, so no, I do like I enjoy playing golf, but I don't play enough. So hopefully mm. I'll get um your bestie involved in some lessons and she'll uh, like it and then become a golfer. We'll go out every fortnight, have a round of golf, nice walk around. Yeah, why not? Have you got what Where's the nearest golf course to oh, you? Just down the road. Ah, look at that. Yeah. It's all working out. It's all working out for you. Oh, but, good for you guys. Yeah, so hopefully. But she might hate it. And then I'll be back to square mm. one. Mm. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to probably put my money on she's not going to love it. But that's <laughs> just me. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? So. Maybe she'll fall in love with it more than you will ever will. And she'll just become a pro. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully. Make some money. Mm. Why not? Exactly. Why not? Everyone needs it at the moment. Cost of living. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, let's not even. Want to know um, what I did earlier? What's that? I can't tell I'm leaning forward a little bit. It's because I sneezed and pulled my back out. Oh, so that's yeah. that's fun. You're getting old. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I as am... soon as it happened, as soon as I hit that sneeze, I'm like, oh, fuck, that fucking hurt. Oh yeah, so you know, that's know fine. how old I am. Able to speak about ailments. I was just we were in the pool before, and we've got like a cover over the top of it, like a solar blanket that we yeah, put on when we're not in it. And I was like, I went down the end to pull it across while I was still in, and when I got to the deep, I can't really stand up in the deep bit of our pool, so I had to like kick, and I like snap something in my ankle my ankle yeah, is like nice. a bit swollen and really yeah, sore nice. at the moment so yeah i don't cool. know what i did but that was just mm. kicking in water no resistance so yeah it's 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 fucking awesome isn't it mm. you know what else was fucking stupid about this week and just being old so the amount of times i had to complain about the weather on christmas day because yeah, it was by crazy. the way the weather fucking sucked on the weekend it was windy it was cold i'm like what the hell is this it's mm. christmas um but the amount of times i had to bring that shit up in the eight hours that i was at my mother's house for it sh i should have been put in prison yeah the amount of times i brought it up but i wasn't gonna stop it pissed me the fuck off yeah well we uh did stuff here with your bestie's family because we got the pool here and all the kids could jump in the pool but it was too cold mm. to go in the pool. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, oh. My mum's moving house in a month. Um, she's going to have a pool. Do you think I'll learn how to swim? You should. Um, I mean, you can get mm. floaties. Imagine. <laughs> I say, Ray, next time I'm over, let's go for a swim and I come out in a full <laughs> fucking floaty. Like, <laughs> oh, kids, got floaties just on everywhere. <laughs> the kids got some here you can borrow. Yeah, I, I'll just hang out with the fucking four-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, because me and him have the same fucking capacity of being able to swim. Yeah. He could probably swim better than me. I can't swim probably. at all. He's getting yeah. there, aren't you? 
Yeah. You're getting there at better at swimming? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's very Sick. much regretting his decisions in life right now. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't want to fucking be here. <laughs> You're right. What's the matter? Is it my turn to sing again? Sing the song. <laughs> Um, He's like, if I could turn this camera around, I would show you right now, but. <laughs> I, uh... If I could turn back time. There you go. I got a song out. Finally, I thought of a song. It's fucking shareable things. <laughs> yeah. Of um, did you see about Celine Dion? No. She's lost all. I'm going to butcher this and someone can correct me. But she's like lost all. Um. Control over the muscles in her body. Oh, yeah. I did read something about that. I can't remember she, what it was called. Celine Dion's like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. that one. Yeah. That I one sings like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I was just for the masses. I, I thought you would know her, Ray, but, but do, obviously, you know, Celine Dion then. Mm. Um, but yeah, she's like lost all control of her, her muscles in her body. So yeah. I guess she's just like, oh. Not in a morbid way, but that wouldn't be a life to live, would it? No, you'd be pissing and shitting yourself all day. Wait, what? Oh, I guess you would. If you've got no control over those muscles. Yeah, because I guess it's muscles out. that make you like poo and shit. Uh, poo and shit. Well, and stop wee. it coming out anyway, for the most part. Huh. Yeah, I didn't even think of it that way. Wow. Mm. Not a great time then. Yeah, no. Can she still sing then? No. Because she can't control... Well, you can still talk. Do you need muscles to talk? Yes. What do you think operates your your jaw? Well, I don't know. And contorts your lips to make the sounds and your tongue. What is this episode? This episode is like the Josh is stupid episode. (laughs) Have you heard of (laughs) bats? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Have you heard of bats? Do you need to use muscles to speak? (laughs) Whatever. I'm back off. Whatever, yeah. I'm not mad at it. No, me either. I mean, I'm just asking the questions everyone's too afraid to ask. If you don't, you don't, you don't know, and you don't. What's the saying? Or what would I say here? I would. I, I uh, got to formulate uh, this sentence. Are you judging you don't, out here, or are you? Uh... <laughs> I'm just trying to formulate the sentence <laughs> in my brain. You don't know unless you. Unless what's the? There's like a saying or something, isn't there? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know either. So anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about uh, something else. <laughs> gosh, I don't even. I'm trying to think. No, uh, my name is Josh. Not uh, gosh. Gosh. Huh? Oh gosh. Um, I was trying to think. I was tr- meaning to write stuff down because I was like a couple of times this week. I've been like, oh, I've got to remember that to um bring that up. Oh, I've got something we can talk about here. We can Do it. we can fucking talk about. Do it. I tagged you with something on Twitter today. Oh yeah. Talk about that. Mm, what the fuck? So, I'm going to read a couple of uh um a couple of tweets here. Mm. Um it I'll paraphrase so I'm not saying any words that I shouldn't say, but it, the original tweet says, um you'll really be having gay male friends in real life question mark. And then this Erica girl, she wrote, if you have a gay male friend, I'm just going to assume you're gay because yeah. why would a heterosexual het- heterosexual man want to be friends with a gay dude? The two have nothing in common. Bitch. What yeah. The I... What the <laughs> like... fuck? I quote tweeted it and was like, you're taking the piss, aren't you? You're like, whatever. It's yeah. Ninety nine point nine percent of all my friends are straight males. Yeah, correct. Like, so what do you think? What gay men are into? Only buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> um. Here's what I don't understand, though. It's just like, why is any? Why does everyone got to sexualize friendship? Yeah, correct. No offense, Ray, but I don't want to have sex with you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the feelings um, reciprocated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, like, what's the what's what's your goal here, lady? You know what? I have a theory that there is no more honest and opener relationship or friendship than a gay guy and a straight guy because there's nothing to be gained from either party. There's no yeah. Like, what, what do you well sexually? Well, there's nothing to be like. There's no like, 
one up like do you know what i mean i don't know if um there's nothing to be gained as in like i think i know what you're trying to say is maybe gained is the wrong word but there's nothing there's no like there's no ulterior motives yeah correct we know what we're here for we're just here to have we're just here to be buds and fuck around yeah wait that's weird terming but you know what i mean um i do yeah like we've both put it so elegantly (laughs) <laughs> yes, we're very good at explaining. Um, but yeah, this lady, I was like, you fuck up. What the fuck? Mm. And then I had just people commenting all day and it's just been a fucking great time. Because yeah, like I said, 99% of my, 95% of my friends are all straight males. The other 5% are, well, my bestie um, yeah. and a couple of girlfriends from work. Um, but yep, yeah, I because for the most part, the straight male friends that I have are like the easiest friends to have because yeah. I like sport and I like, you know, shit like that. So, and professional wrestling, yeah. um, you know, what the, f- what the fuck? I didn't, I just see it at the morning. I'm like, this is one of the worst things that I've ever <laughs> read in my life. Yeah. Seen that. Um, I was like, mm, this is a bit much. Mm. And then, yeah, I just started tagging everyone. I'm just like, well, can't be friends with you guys now. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> See us later. Catch y'all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Peace. Yep. Do yeah. But I, I found it interesting. I found it very interesting. I can't, I don't know if she was being, I think she, I think she was being serious, but then she turned off the, you know, you could turn off who can reply on Twitter. Mm. She turned all that off because I think she was getting like Hate. wrecked mm. on, yeah, which is fucking warranted by the way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she said, I was reading through some of her justifications of this when people were originally replying before she turned them off. And it was basically along the lines of like, oh, you can hang around with, you know, a gay guy and a straight guy can hang around and like, you know, be at a bar together or whatever. But if you're talking every day or at one another's houses, that's when she believes that you must be gay. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't at all. That makes your best friend gay as well. I mean, although she's a female, so that doesn't really count, does it? No, I don't think it counts with girls. Uh, but, like, you, my bestie and you are, like, one and one A. So, I guess, I guess, is there something you need to, do you need to, do you want to say, tell me anything, Ray? No. Nah. Fuck. Although you have a perfect name to be gay, because then you can have so many rhymes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, one, but. <laughs> Ray, Ray is. Right. Oh, I guess it is just one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm just like, it's like I need a, like a, like a dictionary or not a dictionary, a, like a, a, whatever. Thesaurus. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know. Is that like synonyms and shit? Yeah, I guess so. It's just words I that don't mean know. that. Oh, wow. Um, this is yeah we're really of painting the picture for how yeah it's great right isn't now. it yeah do you can you draw random question nah do you know how to draw oh no, I, like i don't i can I'm not a good drawer draw a, when i say draw i can um at work a lot i have to draw shapes and like 3d shapes so i, I can do that okay <laughs> <laughs> I can draw a triangle. No, like Good for you, Ray. <laughs> cubes and you know different stuff like that. Do you draw, I draw the cube. This is a bad pod, podcast material, but if you're watching on YouTube, you know when you do the square and then you do the square in the corner and then you link the. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. I do. That's not. how I draw them because I can't draw. I'm not a good drawer. <laughs> don't play Pictionary with me ever. I don't do it like that because then that wouldn't work the same because lines that are supposed to be there that you can't see through the face have to be dotted. If you want to get above, technical drawing. This is above my pay grade. Yeah. If you want to get technical drawing. I do drawing, not know what you're talking about. So okay. like if you're looking at the face of a cube when you're drawing it, okay. yeah. you know that there's going to be lines there that you can see and ones that you can't see because they're behind the face. But you got to draw the lines. <laughs> yeah, but you got to dot them to say that they are there, but they're hidden. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
anyway. Uh, <laughs> Fucking, what kind of content is this? <laughs> yeah, we might have to we might have to wrap this one up early. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial on how to draw a cube. Do mm. it my way. Do it Ray's way. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> One day we'll play Pictionary, Ray, and you'll truly see the extent that I can draw. Yeah, I'm not a good drawer. You know what's a really fun game to play is charades. Do you reckon? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Do you not think so? Yeah. <laughs> not your, not your, I love yeah. it. I actually do Maybe because really everyone enjoy. just, like, I love that shit. Everyone just watches you and you have to, like, think on the fly. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I, um, I really enjoy Scattergrees. It, okay, is a, I've never played it. To be fair, oh really? Have you seen our no. friends that we meanwhile play? Oh, I've seen, I've seen it. Yeah, it's a fun. Yeah, game it'd be to a shitstorm. It would be a fucking shitstorm, Ray. And with the amount of competitiveness I have, I, well, no, I'd play it. I'd win <laughs> though. I'd crush you. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're gonna be together next weekend. Not yes, this weekend, but we are like weekend following. Um, Fucking what's this weekend? New, New Year's. Year's. So not yep. not this one, but the next one. Yep. We are. God, that took me a long time to get there, didn't it? Yeah. Wow. I think we both need to go to bed tonight. <laughs> I need to yes. get this to bed. Uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. But yeah, we are going to be together. So we're going to be um, together for the NBL. Mm. We'll go and watch the 36ers more than likely lose. Yeah, probably. But, but it's my first basketball game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be, we'll talk about that next week, I guess. Yeah. There still is another episode, I guess, next week. What day is it today? Wednesday. What day is it? I guess so. Mm. Friday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get it? Because it comes out on Friday. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You're going to go on. Well, no, you can't watch the ears thing again because you've not rented it again. No. All right, never mind. I'm gonna go watch some cricket, probably. Do we? So, so do you know exactly? Do, by the time this podcast wrapping up now, you have to at least have thought of what she ended with. Oh, you said it was no. something off her new stuff, but you still, you kind of just left me hanging on yeah, that one. Yeah, I look. I couldn't really tell you. Let me because I want it. What did she open with? Um. Oh, what did she? Swifty open? hard at Swifty hard at work here, as you can tell. Uh, what did she open with? Um, I might need to get your best friend to the door to ask her. All right. Yeah, um, that that's fair. My bestie will know. Hang on. One Is second. she a Swifty? Uh, she doesn't mind it. Okay. Um, okay. One second. Let me. Uh, We're getting there. We're getting there. Sure. I, I, um, I know plane. the second song was The Man. Can you hop away from I the could door, be, please? Uh, uh, I don't know the words to it, but... Uh, uh, if I was a man. If I was a man. Yeah, that one? If I could, I would that's get off, faster it's, if I was a man. And that's off Lover? Uh, yeah, she started with Lover, I reckon. Is that that album, though? Is that what that album's called? What song... Did Taylor Swift open with on Eras? And what song did she close with? She closed with Karma. Karma is boyfriend. Yeah, is that's God. it. I know that one. I know yeah. that one. Yeah, you know it, but Which... it's not. It's not a closer concert. Um, Why? Why is it Karma a closer? Because was it Cruel I Summer? I feel like that's it. A... No, she didn't open with Cruel Summer. It was something like that. Um, yeah, shoot me up on his new. That's that one, right? Yeah, shoot I reckon it might have been. <laughs> she uh, opened with that? Taylor, we got to talk. I'm trying to, yeah. We got to talk, Taylor. Or maybe The Archer? No. I don't know. The that. Archer was in there. Lover? It was from Lover. I uh, didn't love that album. I wasn't a lover of that one. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, it's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? I, I I was, yeah, I'm pretty into it. But whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't like that album. Karma, I don't actually, I actually, I know I'm not the fucking big Taylor Swift guy, but um, I don't hate that she ended that with Karma. 
It's probably the only song off Midnight's that I actually enjoyed. Yeah, I know, but it's, I don't not like the song, but it's not... Like, she's got way better songs to close a concert with. Uh, yeah, I I get where you're coming from, because when I went to Paramore, they closed with a song that I was like, hmm, this is your closer? Mm. Okay. They closed with This Is Why. I don't know if you know Paramore that well, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, they closed with This Is Why, and I was like, eh. She said she doesn't sure. know, and then she's sneaking off into the distance. Bye, my bestie. Josh said bye, his bestie. She just waved. Uh, did you oh, I heard it. I got <laughs> it. That was on. I heard that on mic. See, yeah. besties. It's um, it's a beautiful thing to witness. Everybody, yeah, with a blossoming best friendship right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that was brilliant listening. If you've made it fifty minutes into this podcast with the sh- so sorry stuff that we've talked about tonight, pooing, you'll be fine with that. That's <laughs> being real in Australia. Um, yeah. That's too clear about it. Oh, whatever. You want to come this say goodbye? Gonna, I feel like this is going to paint a picture that I'm some kind of idiot. Well, no, I do it every week. <laughs> Join the party, you I guess. you want to come say goodbye? No. He's not interested. He be, Before, <laughs> when he, he was like waving to me, he was gone. And I. that's when I said, I am listening to you. And I took one headphone off. He said, do you want me to go get your water for you? And I said, "Oh, <laughs> little champion. No, he's and just he's trying just to move up. around because I said he was to stay still. Because he was being a little turd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Now That's I've got to get for having a child. I guess, again, the wishing machine joke. Uh, <laughs> um, Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Should I try this? No, you're hosting tonight. You do it. No, nah, fuck you. You do it. That's your bit. I started this show. I started. I was the first person to talk. Rory, do you want to come close to the show? Part. Probably be better I'll than his dad. <laughs> I'll tell you what to Boom. say. Boom. <laughs> come on. You want it to be in here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. You got to say. No, come on. You come and stand with me and you say, you copy me. All right. Stand up. I got this. Come on. Come on. No, you've got to come on here next to the microphone. Come in here. Come on. You wanted to be in here. You didn't want to go to bed. Special guys. Oh, get up here. Oh, hang on. You don't. You don't want to. He's, He's just not. Why don't you come over here? Stand here. Right here. Look, we can't even see you. Say, follow us on social media. (laughs) Come on. Come and say, follow us on social media. Do you want to say, um, that fine. You don't get to say anything. Uh, Follow us on social media at A2O Podcast. Uh, Follow Josh's YouTube to watch our YouTube streams. Watch him on Twitch. Uh, follow him on Instagram. It's all at Josh Robinson double zero. Follow me on social media. It can't hurt. I won't say anything offensive. Um, <laughs> I won't say anything. Good uh, sell. Yeah. Way. Good job. <laughs> I'm very unoffensive. I, this is, you know how much I love this part of the show. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then, oh, come on then. <laughs> say, just in the top of his head <laughs> Yeah, no one can see you Come and say um, What do you want to say? Do you want to say thanks for the present Santa? Josh knows Santa I do <laughs> That's not great Fantastic <laughs> Fantastic um, That's probably how I sound on this show Today especially did, um, did he know bats are real in this country? Because I didn't. Have you ever seen a bat? Yeah. Don't lick it, you freak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a bat? Wow. Incredible. You need to talk into it. You don't lick it. No. You've never seen a bat? Me either. Me either, home dog. Do you know fruit bats? 
the same wavelength. Yeah, fruit bats, where are they living? Where do fruit bats live? In Australia. Yeah. Mm. Out schooled by a four year old and, and feeling pretty good. What else lives in Australia? Tigers. Tigers don't live in Australia. Nah, you've lost all credibility. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Are there no t- I'm this is a genuine question. Is there seriously no tigers in this country? Not not in a zoo. Oh, okay. The Tasmanian tigers extinct. I knew that one. Huh. I guess so. Um say hi. <laughs> Wave at least. <laughs> yeah, see? Um well this little boy is two hours past his bedtime. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I and get it. Now he's just obsessed with looking at himself. <laughs> you guys look alike <laughs> like crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll next week I'll tell you how biology works and I'll explain it to you. Oh god. Josh goes <laughs> to school. <laughs> um Yeah, so did I say everything? Thank you. Nope. Nope. What did I say? What do you want to say? Nothing. Okay, well. Same. Ready for bed? I am. No. Oh. Ah, good, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go lay in bed now, aren't we? When I talk oh, on the microphone. Yeah, okay. All right. We're going Sick. now. <laughs> it's a good sign off. Yeah. All right. All right. So you follow us on socials. Follow Josh mainly on socials. Then you'll hear about everything. Uh, I will keep you hanging. Because <laughs> I talk a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, man.